Time is running out before the March 31st deadline to sign up for coverage under the Affordable Care Act. The Obama administration is still falling short of its goal for new enrollees. First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti explains local concerns about health care costs. Salem Mortgage Banker William Dawes is the father of one toddler with another baby on the way. He says two years ago he could count on stable premiums for health care, but all that's changing. Going with the high deductible plan using a health savings account, uh, it's much more difficult to get a handle on those costs and it's definitely going to be a lot more expensive. Dawes was part of the audience as Congressman Bill Johnson spoke to the Salem Rotary. He says the ripple effect of higher premiums affects everyone. It's not just about the costs in terms of what they're paying for their health care services, but also how much disposable income they're left with to purchase a home, to purchase an automobile uh, and, and dinner on a nightly basis. Johnson says he's working on a measure to reduce cuts planned for the Medicare Advantage program to pay for the Affordable Care Act. He tells me close to 800,000 seniors are covered by the plan just in Ohio. Cuts to that program are going to mean higher cost, higher premiums, uh, and reduced access. Johnson says lawmakers and the president need to salvage parts of the Health Care Act that will benefit consumers, such as coverage for pre-existing conditions and keeping children on their parents' coverage longer, and fix the rest. Those in the audience I spoke with think the partisanship isn't helping anyone. People want to see results. You know, we continue to hear about unemployment levels. This is not going to help that. Um, I think it's going to cause further, you know, unemployment. Something many here worry will hurt the local economy even more. In Salem, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.